Hey, bud. It's in this thing, moving around. Oh, I like that hat. I forgot we had that hat. Yeah. Check this out. I wrote a song for you, Clint. <laughs> Reacting uh -huh. to stuff. Sunny V2, as we do. Meanest versus nicest celebrities. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a good one. It's, I love celebrities. <laughs> They're some of my favorite people. <laughs> yeah. Who were the five nicest celebrities who five? and who were the five meanest? I can tell Ooh. you who the meanest one I ever met was. Uh oh. Her name is Ellen DeGeneres. But while all the evidence Ellen points DeGeneres. to Ellen being awful, Adam Sandler is always highlighted as being incredibly kind. Take for example the time he was refused a table at IHOP after the server failed to realize it was Adam Sandler asking. Embarrassed, the server shared the CCTV to TikTok, prompting Adam Sandler to meet with the waitress personally. You like Adam That's Sandler? Rough. I do. I love Adam Sandler. Yeah. He's yeah, my he's, third. He's a, yeah, yeah, he's on that list for sure. He's a nice guy, it seems like. Yep. He also dresses good. I feel like he, out of like all of his his characters and everything, I feel like the one that is mostly him is Mr. Deeds. You think so? Yeah, I like. Mr. I feel Deeds. like he's very Mr. Deeds. I like Mr. Deeds. Good show, jolly good show. I do like it. I love Adam Sandler, and that makes sense. And I'm glad he's on the nice list. Yep. Deans were impressed for a slightly different were reason. It's very, it's very humble, humble of him, him to not assert that he's a celebrity and ask for special treatment. He acted just like a regular customer and didn't challenge anyone. I respect him for that. I respect that as well, but also that's bare minimum. Yeah, that's yeah, that, just that's bare minimum. Just, they they tell you. That like, sorry, sorry dude, can't. And he's like, it's Red Sea. All right. <laughs> it's like they just they just expect that because he's a celebrity, he's gonna pull that mask off and be like, actually, I'm Adam Sandler. He goes, so you're gonna react differently. <laughs> <laughs> he would come out to sign autographs after a full 14 plus hour day of shooting. Didn't That's matter how crazy. long the line was, he made sure every single person got to say hello. He had now, if you became celebrity level famous, would you do that? You think? Um, no. Me neither. Yeah. No. I'd be like, hey guys, sorry. I I like, yeah. I love you all so much, but I just don't want to do this. Yeah. I don't want to do yeah, this. Yeah, I would. I'd pull the migraine card. Yeah, for sure. I probably would have after <laughs> yeah. a 14 hour day yeah. of shooting. That yeah, sounds hell. That's absurd. He's yeah. a better man than us. Yeah. Seems like. But while Adam Sandler's happy on screen mood clearly extends Back to his to personal school. life, Mike Myers from Austin Powers Ooh, is apparently much different he's when bad? the cameras aren't rolling. Twitter I users didn't know expose this. Mike Myers as an absolute nightmare to work mm. with. Twitter the users. referred to a tweet reading Mike Myers had me fight Can't off the trusted. set of The Love Guru because I made eye contact with him and I was there as his bodyguard. The tweet had been posted by oh, a person no. named Jay Brody, who then expanded on the incident in a podcast. Podcast. You'll be basically guarding Mike Myers' trailer. They're like, here's the catch. Can't look at him. But I realize, like, I can't let just anyone into the trailer. So I look up. I catch his eye for a second. I give him a nod to let him know I'm cool. And then I look away. And within an hour, I get a phone call letting me know that I'm fired and I have to get What? By the way, did I ever tell you I watched that movie every day for a year what? when I lived in Texas? Every day for a year? Every day for a year. 365 days. Not even joking yet. Like, probably more than once a day, too. Why? I don't know. I it made me feel comfortable though. Okay. I don't know why though. Like I just was very. I didn't know what to do. I, it was it was like uh, Gary's mod, like pre Minecraft mods. Yeah. Time, because I think that movie came out in two thousand nine. I think around there. That and sounds. That next year it went on Netflix or something, mm -hmm. and I just watched it every single day. That is absurd. It is crazy. I've seen you watch it. It's been on in my presence a lot, and yeah. it's like I guess he really likes it. <laughs> It's not even you good. Ever, you never seen, make pizza. <laughs> you never really seem yeah. to pay that much AK attention make pizza. to An extra in love guru, and remember being told we can't make eye contact with Mike. That when I tell so people crazy. this, they don't believe me. Thanks for confirming. That's people so People always crazy. wonder why there weren't more Austin Powers movies, but never realize how many stories there are like this about him. Basically, no one wants to work with the guy. With one of these other stories coming from hmm. dude, I and I love Austin Powers. Oh I've yeah, seen all of them a lot. Yeah, yeah, those are great those movies. movies. Yeah, they're they're uh, they're just like dumb slapstick funny yeah it's it, yeah yeah it, the reason i like it is because it's so stupid mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I said they're great movies. They're not great movies. They're, they're terrible. They're movies. terrible movies, but they're hilarious movies. Mm -hmm. And that's wild. You just, that's why he plays so many of your different characters in those. Yeah, because he's a fucking psycho. Yeah. He's a fucking yeah. lunatic. Makes sense. Of The Cat in the Hat, where Mike's co-star Amy Hill Freak stayed yeah, sure, in. I hate His this area show. was all covered with tenting because he didn't want anybody seeing him. What? It was so weird, it was just the worst. I was miserable. Hill also revealed how Diva Myers selfishly kept what? everyone waiting for hours, overruled the director, and even had someone standing by just holding his personal chocolates in a dish. It was just a Dude, that's fucking crazy. His personal chocolates in a dish? That's crazy. That's funny. And they tinted up oh his area? Because he didn't want anybody to see him? Who is this What's guy? What's he doing in there? Fucking jacking it, bro. Probably. What's he doing? That's so yeah. strange. We need to investigate this fella. Yeah, we need to do a, a Mike Myers deep dive. Yeah. What the fuck? Huh. Horrible nightmarish experience. Horrible although nightmarish people have only experience. ever said the opposite about Steve nice. Buscemi. Buscemi worked as Friend a New York firefighter before mm -hmm. quitting to pursue acting. Although when the Twin Towers were destroyed we on Steve. September 11, Buscemi walked into his old fire department to volunteer, working 12 hours a day for a week straight in the hopes of finding survivors. He That's crazy. I asked if I could join them, he said, adding I could tell they were That's a little suspicious insane. at first, but I worked with them Damn. that day. It was a privilege to be able to do it. It was great to connect with a firehouse I used to work with and with some of the guys I worked alongside. Note, this was in 2001 after he was already extremely yeah, famous from yeah. movies such as Fargo, yet according to an independent article on his volunteering, very few photographs and no interviews exist because he declined them. He wasn't there for publicity. That is insane, hmm. dude. That's awesome. That's really cool. That's fucking I crazy. Like Steve. Yeah, me too. Not to mention Buscemi gets extra credit for being close friends with Adam Sandler. Mm-hmm. Legends, legends. Yeah, yeah, his last name makes me nervous. Though. Who's skimmy? Yeah. Who's glimmy? Yeah, I don't say it. It doesn't. You don't say it because it's hard to say. Mm -hmm. Bushimi. Steve Bushimi. 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 Yeah, there you go. Steve Bushimi. There you go. Okay, you got okay. it, bro. Got I can it. do this. You got it. <laughs> I can do this. I can do this. Can do this. We can do this together. Yeah. We can do this. Mm. Yeah, I'm a huge Bushimi fan. Yeah, yeah. Steve Bushimi. Steve Buscemi. It's very cool. We <laughs> it's like you're feeling it out. It seems Jerry Seinfeld was left out. Do you out like of the Jerry party. Seinfeld? Yeah. No, Given every me clip either. of him I've seen outside of his shows, is just him being an unlikable douche with an ego the size yeah, of he's a small an idiot. country. I don't the like Jerry Seinfeld. Began with a Larry King interview from 2007. I never had. I I've never liked the number one show on television, Larry. And the most on television, Larry. I've never liked Seinfeld yeah, or in general. Yeah, just. Uh, ain't for me. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a huge Seinfeld guy. I don't really like any of those shows much, yeah. like Friends and all that. Mm -hmm. Friends, Seinfeld, Parks and Rec, Office. I don't like any of them shits. Yeah, Parks and Rec was alright though. Par yeah, Parks Just and Rec. Chris out of Pratt. all those, Parks and Rec was was my favorite. Um, and also Fat Chris Pratt, better. Yeah, skinny Chris Pratt. Yeah, fat Chris Pratt better than Navy Seal Chris Pratt. Although, I like Terminal List. I do like Terminal List, and like I do Terminal like Zero Dark Thirty, and all those movies are all good. But, but fat Chris Pratt is key. He's just so funny. He's such oh, a yeah. natural with it. I love you so much. Oh, thanks. Can I give you a hug? No, thanks. Please. No, thanks. A little one. Yeah, no, thanks. Oh. <laughs> wow, that's so okay. weird. I don't know who that was. Yeah, it was Kesha. Okay. Hmm. That's like really rude. But also he's within his bro, both in his rights. Yeah, I was going to say that if there was anything that I can be like, I mean, that's. Yeah. yeah. No, thanks. No, thanks. No, thanks. No, thanks. Yeah. Um, I mean, no, thanks. Yeah. Um, um. He said, he said, no, thanks. It's not. He wasn't like, get away from me. Yeah. Said, no, thanks. It was really awkward. And weird. Yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah. It's a little, little weird. I'd probably uh, I'd give her a hug. I didn't know that was Kesha. Me neither. Cat dollar sign, huh? Yeah. Protecting her. I don't hug a total stranger. <laughs> I don't hug a total stranger. What happened with uh, Jerry Seinfeld? Oh time? my God. Are you friends with him? I am not. Okay, we're good. It was like the saddest moment of my life. That does seem, you know, when you are that person, when you are such a legend, I feel mm -hmm. like you kind of ought to be the guy who is willing to hug a random stranger. Yeah. You kind of ought to have that level of gratitude that mm -hmm. makes you act that way. Yeah. Because like he, they're like his his stuff's not like funny really. His like bits and stuff are not yeah. funny. I don't know. What, he just had a really weird appeal to like the '90s mm -hmm. type of mindset and yeah. zeitgeist that was in control of popular media during the '90s. Yeah, and that's why mm -hmm. anyone could do Seinfeld stuff. Yeah, literally anybody. There's like it, like Letter Kenny is something that no one could ever recreate aside mm -hmm. from those guys. Yeah, Seinfeld is just like milk toast. 
Yeah. However, if you're wanting a more humble type- Friend of the show, Post Malone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Friend of the show, yeah, this, Post Malone. This next one, we might be a little biased. Yeah, we might be a little biased. By the way, we don't even, we can just skip through this part. Nobody needs to be let to know why Post Malone's good dude. There's just yeah. so many, it's just Absolutely. like, yeah. there's not a single thing. There's the whole <sighs> Breakfast Club stuff. This is, there's no reason for this to be included in the video. It's completely, mm -hmm. I mean, if you just look up anything in regard to Post Malone. Yeah. Incredible. Great person. Yeah. Never spoken. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> Chevy Chase. Remember when Pete Davidson praised Adam Sandler earlier in the video? Well, Pete had the opposite to say about Chevy Chase, stating, He's a fucking douchebag. I hate that dude. He's just a genuinely bad racist person, and I don't oh, like wow. him. Chevy Chase was fired from community after calling Donald Glover the N word, not to mention before oh. the firing, Chase was simply difficult to work with. He was someone that did not want to be there for the hours that we were keeping. He sometimes could be in not great moods. Earlier in his career, Chevy Chase. That's got crazy. This fight with Bill Murray. And while interviewing Robert what? Downey Jr., Chase stated, Didn't your father used to be a successful director? Whatever happened to him? Boy, he sure died, you know. He sure went to hell. Phew. What a douchebag. Yeah, man. What a fucking asshole. That guy's like a legend, too, from oh, my childhood. Yeah, I never, absolutely. It's weird how you never... I just was immune to PR, I guess, mm -hmm. when I was a kid. It's weird is like, he was so popular when we were growing up. I never liked any of his movies. Dude, like the, the, all the Christmas National movie. Lampoon. Oh, yeah. I never I, got him. I never understood him. Ferrell stated, the worst host was Chevy Chase. Yet Chevy Chase foolishly claims that all criticism is just jealousy. Did you just say that writers writing anything negative is jealousy? Yeah, I did. What kind of jealousy? I'm funnier than them? Yeah, I guess maybe. I'm considered good looking? Yeah, there you have it. Is that like a joke? That had to be a joke, right? That maybe? I guess. <laughs> That's I that stupid so. joke. But yeah. Yeah, when I was a kid, I didn't realize he was a piece of shit. I just didn't really think it was like, I didn't get it. Yeah. I, I, I never understood all the, the Chevy Chase stuff. Same with Bill Murray. I love Bill Murray, yeah. but like I just never understood it. I don't think Bill Murray's not funny, to be to clarify yeah. that. Here I am, ready and, and but like when I was a child, I just never really understood mm -hmm. Groundhog Day and all those movies. I just yeah. didn't really get any of it. Outside of Michael Myers, this list is basically lining up to just like who I already did and didn't like. Yeah. Talk about legacies. I want mine to be one sentence. Shaq was a nice guy. Which has been aided by his random acts of kindness, purchasing bikes, shoes, yeah. and laptops for less fortunate children. He just buys like Walmart's yeah. worth of shit all the time. Mm -hmm. He's a legend. Do you have any negative stories of Shaq? Never met him. <laughs> Never met him. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> He's tall, I heard. Yeah. 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 He's friends that's, with Adam Sandler yet again. That's that yet seems again. like that's a good judge of character. Judge of characters yep. if they're friends with Adam. Huh. Friends with Adam Sandler. Yeah, I love Shaquille O'Neal though. I've always thought he was very funny. Someone you might not expect to be rude is Bill I expect. Nye, the science yeah, guy. Absolutely. I met Bill Nye as a kid and he was the big Yet again, yeah. another guy when mm -hmm. I was a kid I didn't fucking understand. Yep. I didn't get it. I didn't get yeah. my sister loved Bill Nye mm -hmm. and taught and Bill Nye the science guy and all the shit. I didn't fucking get it. No. I was like, this is fucking liberal propaganda. <laughs> and you were right. <laughs> Turned out to be right. I was again. fucking right about that. <laughs> again, dude. Just kidding. Although, thankfully, Keanu oh. Reeves is the... We don't even... That's another one we don't even need to talk about. Do we yeah. know Keanu Reeves is a yeah, fucking the, legend? Yeah, this is just... This all makes sense to me. Yeah, this all just... This checks. Yeah. This checks out. The, uh, Keanu, genius. Mm -hmm. uh, see, when I've had tough times in my brain, I always look up, like, people who think are interesting. Yeah. And I look up, like, Keanu Reeves, not specifically philosophy, but, like, Keanu Reeves, stoicism, Keanu yeah. Reeves, uh, meditation, mm -hmm. things like that. Like, anxiety, depression, whatever. Yeah. He has a lot of good reading in regard to that kind of stuff. Perfect balance between good and evil. While filming the second two Matrix movies, Keanu Reeves chose to give up 75 million Yeah, we've all heard it before. It's just so... That's one thing I, I will shit on Keanu. Nothing against him, but people love sucking that dude off for, for just, just how cool and nice he is. Mm -hmm. And that much. bothers you. I don't like it. Yeah, yeah. a little yeah. too much. He's awesome. He's great. He's awesome. That's it. He's not the savior of humanity. Calm down. Yeah. <laughs> This kindness with meanness, it's, it's definitely Ellen DeGeneres. Oh. Also his fucking hanging out with Terran Tactical and actually being a legit yes. weapon operator. Yeah, that that's I really cool like. as fuck. Yeah. Seeing all that stuff, seeing him like actually get out there and, and learn. That shit's impressive. And, and uh, just bring his, his gun skills to another level mm -hmm. for the John Wick movies. And um, probably the best 
like action movies. Yeah. At least since I've been alive. Mm -hmm. Just the most consistently epic yeah. action movies. It's crazy that all this stuff's come out like about Ellen being mean. Cause when I met her, I thought she was really mean. Like, and she's like, so what do I gotta do? And she's just pissed to be there. And then she comes out on stage and she's like, oh, like funny, nice Ellen, you know, like the, the person that they think she is. Wow. And apparently neither were the 10 so employees weird. who came forward four months later to expose employees. her terrible working environment. Toxic, phony, hypocrite, liar. That's what she is. Bitch. Horrible, horrible bitch. I'm with you. Yeah. Sometimes I get sad. I get mad. I, I get anxious. I get frustrated. I get impatient. And I am working on all of that. Shut up, bitch. All my homies hate Ellen. And not a fan. Not Never a fan of Ellen. Been. Never have been. I did. I did. Uh, there was a joke that I remember that she did about being an accountant when she was 12 or something like that, that I thought was funny, that I saw when I was really young. She was a comedian in the 80s, I think. She was like an actual comedian. Great place, man, everybody's so friendly and I'm just hanging out at the beach today and people coming up to me, this guy came up and said, hey, you know, you're on my towel. You know, it's just really great. <laughs> came... <laughs> yeah, there's a bit about an accountant or something. I must have really watched the whole thing when I was like really like a child. That's weird. Like, let us, everything I did was when I was a child. What's something you've done as an adult? Mmm. Jack off. Damn right. <laughs>